There's been muted reaction in the United States of America to the death of former South African leader F.W. de Klerk. The White House is yet to make any comment. Our U.S. correspondent Kate Fisher takes a look at his relationship with the United States. It's perhaps not a surprise that the White House has not rushed to react to the passing of F.W. de Klerk. As a senator on the Foreign Relations Committee in 1986, Joe Biden excoriated the apartheid regime in South Africa and what he saw as the Reagan administration's inaction over the system of legalized racism. Although F.W. de Klerk was one of the architects of the end of apartheid, he was still viewed, particularly by the Congressional Black Caucus, an influential grouping of African-American lawmakers, as a politician whose early career was inextricably associated with a system of injustice. Even today, that impacts the view of his achievements taken by many Americans, particularly in the black community. It's meant he struggled to find a place for himself on the world stage in his post-presidential life. He's spoken at Harvard University in the past, but just last year he was dropped from giving a speech at the American Bar Association after objections to his appearance. The plight of black South Africans under apartheid was supported by many Americans who were horrified by the images of the brutal police crackdown that they saw. In particular, students took up the cause, protesting on campus against universities that were investing billions of dollars in South Africa and helping to prop up the status quo there. Despite de Klerk's role in ending that status quo, for many Americans, his political history is too closely entangled with South Africa's dark past for them to view his legacy fondly. Kate Fisher, SABC News, Washington.